Hey Lonnie, it's Ava. Uh, just wanted to let you know I had an extra ticket to Cats if you wanted to go. the fridge. I I just want to grab a Coke. You got a bottle opener? I need to open this Coke and I don't have a bottle opener. So how are you doing? What'd you think? I didn't even do it. Was... Hey, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Lonnie, wait. You never said if you wanted to go see cats. That's funny. I thought by now I'd given you my answer. I didn't get an answer. Just say you don't want to go. It's called body language dipshit. I think your brain is developed enough to have picked up on that by now. Or are you and your friends just so busy playing tennis you haven't quite learned that yet? Look, I'm trying to be nice, and you can't and even be a normal human being and say something. Thanks. You seem surprised. Oh my god! See, this is what's wrong with you. You are shown. 
the tiniest bit of kindness and- And what? What do I do? No, finish that sentence. What do I do? You know me. Everybody knows me. Everybody knows the freak. Why are you trying to be nice to the freak? What did I do to deserve your kindness? What did I do to deserve being bothered about a play I don't care about by a girl I care even less about? What were you even hoping to get out of this? Were you hoping to just have yet another person who loves you like everybody else does? Well, guess what? If you need me to say it again, I don't care about a production of Cats. And I don't care about you. So just leave me the hell alone. Uh, I didn't write down your stuff, I wrote down my stuff. Oh. Are you stalking me? No, I just wanted to see where you came from. What? I, I don't know. Are you in any clubs or anything? You don't seem like a club kind of person. No, I just like to judge the theater kids. They can never remember their lines. Is that supposed to be an insult? It's the truth. They don't remember their lines. I know their lines better than them by this point. So I've been told by dupes like you, being blind, you'd have all else blind as well. The clear-eyed man you call an infidel. I have no idea what that means. Neither do I. Why don't you join theater then? It's not my thing. <laughs> what do you do? Nothing much, really. run around in the snow naked. And you would rather eat live cockroaches? They're a delicacy. Where? O other places. Other places, my ass. All right, whatever, my turn. Would you rather perform an entire musical as the lead role without knowing any of the choreography or lines or destroy your most prized possession for a pizza box that never runs out of pizza? Hello? What's up? Do you know her? It's a long story. Well, my curfew is in for another few hours, so I think we're fine. Is she gone? Yeah. Okay, uh, she does go to my school. I'm not hiding from her because she's mean or anything, though. It's actually the opposite. I don't know how to say this. I'm not good at making friends. I never really have been. Every time somebody tries to get close to me, I just freak out. I don't know why. You've never had any friends? Nope. Nope. Well, me neither. Really? Really. But you're so... friendly. <laughs> well, you know I'm homeschooled. And I am an only child, so I never really had the opportunity. Sounds lonely. 
I think I've gotten over it. Really? I mean, I'd probably die if it were just me and my parents. <laughs> well, if you're not good at making friends, then what am I? Okay, uh, who said I was your friend? I don't know. I figured it was decided. It is most definitely not decided. I don't even know your name. Well, you never told me yours, so why would I tell you mine? Lonnie Birkins. Oliver Ferguson. It's nice to meet you, Oliver Ferguson. And you as well, Lonnie Birkins. Hey, you know what your name kind of reminds me of? What? Fergie. All the time I turn around, brothers gather around, always looking at me up and down, looking at my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Ferguson was an amazing person. Oliver is gone too soon. I'll think about him every day. My heart goes out to the it's Fergusons. Really if you guys need anything, the Canicula and the Melia Bay when I read it. To imagine truly going the through world right now. He's an amazing part of the world. I remember when Oliver was like... Dear Lonnie Birkins, hey, if you're reading this, I really, I really did go through with it. Or I'm just lazy, but that would take some explaining once you find this. So let's go with the first one. I don't know why I decided to do it. I don't know if I needed a reason. Maybe I'll figure that out later if I'm able to. Probably not. Anyway, thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for going out with me even though you didn't know my name. Thanks for giving me somebody to talk to. I know it's probably going to be difficult to process this, but do me a favor while you're at it. Go talk to that girl again. To at least say you tried to fix things? You keep hiding and running away and you'll never get anything done in your life. And try not to do what I did, okay? To all those good times, Oliver Ferguson.